Hello there folks and welcome back to another Zone Clash this time. This is another game we had in the Zone uh, tournament. This time we had a more challenging team. Point is, I don't mind, well, no one minds teams that are, you know, a bit less challenging. But the point is, a challenge always gives you some... Uh, <laughs> Lessons to learn, let's say. So we had to fire against the Malphite on top. Vladimir on mid. Lee Sin the jungler. And... You know, there was an enemy vein with a rail bot lane. And the junglers begin their point. <laughs> Seeing that he was a bit behind, I came back for another shield and a bit of damage. This firecracker vein was of a skin that I kind of wanted to buy, but you know, it's like um, I didn't get to buy it. I was indecisive about it, and I didn't know it would simply go back into the vault, but it simply doesn't matter. It's not that we had a specific game comp, it's just that. Well, we happen to play the same, well, almost the same, uh, almost the same team. Vayne and Rel can be quite an aggressive lane, and I had the sensation that they would play aggressive, so I told our AD carry to still play severe. You know, our mid laner is having a much worse lane because Vladimir is much more of a bully his Q no longer has 4 or f the 4 seconds no, I think 2.5 or 3 seconds it used to have back in the times but well nor did it have the empowered version We could see that they were highly interested in, you know, uh, in aggression, based on Rail's movements, one could easily predict that. Better duck. And the spear is missed, but it simply doesn't matter that much. Obviously, Vayne deals a lot of damage. Heads up. The mid laners are back. We also decide to push back a bit. While Vayne prefers to still farm, but you know, she's doing the typical last hit, which is always a good thing. 
instead of pushing the lane. And the first blood is done, I don't remember exactly. Ah, okay, I'm guessing a uh, stupid tower dive. Oh, wait, it's... Oh, wait, our top laner killed the enemy. I thought it was vice versa, okay. Vayne, meanwhile, is still freezing the lane. Actually curious a bit. He actually has a very good farm. 48 farm. And Vladimir gets the first of many kills. The enemy jungler gets a very funny execute. While attempting to do Drake. Can happen. I guess he wasn't expecting to see the shield vanish that fast. Uh, it lasts for... how long does it actually last? 3 seconds? Uh, oh, 2 seconds. Oh, the shield only lasts 2 seconds now. No more. No longer 4 seconds you or 5. No, 4 seconds I think it was earlier. Much earlier in the times. So the enemies have returned as well, bot lane is back. Vain words, alright, and she gets back to the farming. She actually seems to have impeccable farming skills. Bonk. Bonk. AD carry got kind of misplaced and a timely exhaust saved them a bit, just a bit. Which meant that the support remained alone on the bot. Bottom lane 
starts ensuring us with the point that they will actually be a very great trouble late game I didn't expect that much damage. Heads up. And the enemy Vladimir is two kills. Make that three for now. Okay, so the W actually deals more healing now. was a bit funny it was a bit funny but okay and Mirel was quite tanky Curious what build she went by. Ah, she bought the boots. 12% damage reduction. Yes, always counts. <laughs> this is doing here uh, Raptors. While we come for a quick Drake. We managed to snatch it the right time. Better duck. Oh, four kills. Hextech rocket build, okay. Take this. Keep going. Well, one thing I could say is excellent coordination. Better duck. And they managed to take another one of us down. Came a nice save. The game quickly escalated into a, you know, like mid lane, all random, all mid.
team decided to push on mid, which is also the most important turret for vision. While the enemy bot lane decided to push the bottom turret. The enemy bot lane is reunited. However, Vayne decides to just keep farming. Well, as much as needed. Apparently, she still has a great farm. Vayne's flash was cast, so there was some sort of advantage in there. He was getting a bit demoralized because of that Vladimir, however the point is he still didn't give up. And obviously Vayne is disposed, fortunately. Okay, Vladimir was finally brought down. And we decided to give up the chase, after all it wasn't worth it. Better duck. We decide to go for a quick trick. Drake is brought down. Meanwhile, top laners making their way. Here, for some reason, the enemies decided to withdraw. And while there, Vladimir became more and more of a nuisance. Not that their vein wasn't. There 
was quite a okay t posing that was quite a bad engage well most likely they didn't expect they didn't expect us to be that many still the point is 20 minutes into the game you know the game is quite balanced The enemy mid turret is also brought down. Our bottom lane turret is also brought down, but well. And I get killed again. At least a kill is taken on them. The enemy Vladimir is also getting a bit too much fed. Really stop it with that. And well, we managed to finally win a fight. Obviously the focus is on the Drake, as well as seeing any vision that the enemy might have and remove it. The enemy team still was problematic. Vayne 8 kills and Vladimir 9. That was quite a problem for the team. Well, the team scattered to forage for whatever resources could be taken. <laughs> it's a good funny thing that they didn't follow Sion. Their Malphite was definitely mispositioned there. I got killed again.
at least well three of them died for the support not was that wasn't a problem enemy started regrouping Finally, the number of kills were set even. Still, the point is, our kills were somewhat a bit more distributed between the team. They had two slightly more well-fed enemies. Vayne already brought, bought her third item. Vladimir had two. Oh, and a maxed Dark Seal. And well, Vayne was brought down. The enemy again started gathering on mid. Because what's a League of Legends game without, you know, all mid? Drake would spawn in one minute. Obviously, Vayne was the first one picked. Here, I managed to save the AD carry. <laughs> that was uh, somewhat interesting. AD carry said it was a bit intense. Still, we managed to barely beat them, and you know, it was a 5v4. area also worded in here so worded the bush in here problem was the others were picking on us That uh, that flash was so synchronous in there. <laughs> Point was, we actually managed to take the Drake.
A bit unexpected from Sivir to deal that much damage instantly. Curious rail, what kind of build she went for? Obviously lock it. My blood burns. Oh. I'll crush you all. Feel that. And fortunately, the early scene was uh, the one who kind of fed us. And the biggest problem that many people do is when they have fed members, they don't wait for the others, they just come one by one. And well, in this case, they surrendered. Hopefully you enjoyed this game as well, you are appreciated, Ferengian board signing out.